Level 1. Simple Password Guessing The simplest form of hacking involves guessing common or default passwords. Many people use easy-to-remember passwords like 123456 password or admin. Hackers can exploit this by trying these common passwords first, often gaining quick access to accounts with weak security practices. Level 2. Social Engineering Social engineering attacks manipulate people into divulging confidential information. Hackers may impersonate someone trustworthy, such as a colleague or a service provider. For example, they might send an email pretending to be from IT support, asking the user to provide their password to fix a supposed issue. Alternatively, they might call and trick the user into revealing their credentials over the phone. Level 3. Phishing Phishing attacks involve sending emails or messages that appear to be from legitimate sources like banks or popular websites. These messages often contain links to fake websites designed to look like the real ones. When users enter their login credentials on these spoof sites, the information is sent directly to the attacker. Phishing can also involve attachments that, when opened, install malware on the victim's computer. Level 4. Keylogging Keyloggers are malicious programs or devices that record every keystroke a user makes. This includes passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive information. Keyloggers can be installed via phishing emails, malicious downloads, or physical access to the victim's device. The captured keystrokes are then sent back to the hacker, who can sift through them to find valuable data. Level 5. Brute Force Attack A brute force attack is a method where a hacker uses software to try every possible password combination until the correct one is found. This method can crack even complex passwords, but it can be very time-consuming. The effectiveness of brute force attacks depends on the complexity of the password and the computing power available to the hacker. Strong, long passwords can significantly slow down brute force attacks. Level 6. Dictionary Attack In a dictionary attack, hackers use a list of predefined words and common passwords instead of trying random combinations. This list, or dictionary, often includes common words, phrases, and password variations. Since many users choose passwords that are easy to remember, dictionary attacks can be more efficient than brute force attacks. Level 7. Credential Stuffing Credential stuffing involves using lists of compromised usernames and passwords from previous data breaches to gain unauthorized access to other accounts. Many users reuse passwords across multiple sites, making this attack highly effective. Hackers use automated tools to attempt logging in to various sites with these stolen credentials, looking for matches. Level 8. Man in the Middle Attack a man-in-the-middle attack occurs when a hacker intercepts communication between two parties. For example, on an unsecured public Wi-Fi network, a hacker can intercept data being transmitted between a user and a website. This intercepted data can include login credentials, which the hacker can then use to access the victim's accounts. Level 9. Rainbow Tables Rainbow tables are pre-computed tables used to reverse cryptographic hash functions. When a password is hashed, it is transformed into a seemingly random string of characters. Hackers use rainbow tables to match hashed passwords against pre-computed hash values, allowing them to quickly recover the original passwords. This method is particularly effective against unsalted hashes. Level 10. Zero-Day Exploits Zero-Day exploits take advantage of unknown vulnerabilities in software or hardware. These vulnerabilities are called zero-day because the developers have had zero days to fix them. Hackers who discover these vulnerabilities can use them to bypass security measures and gain access to systems and accounts. Zero-day exploits are highly sought after and can be extremely damaging as they often remain undetected until significant damage has been done. To protect against password hacking, it is crucial to use strong, unique passwords that are complex, incorporating a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols, and to avoid easily guessable information such as birthdays or common words. Enabling multi-factor authentication, MFA, adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second form of verification, such as a code sent to your phone or an authentication app. Be cautious of phishing attempts by verifying the sender's email address and avoiding clicking on suspicious links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. Keep your operating system and applications regularly updated to patch vulnerabilities. Additionally, using a password manager can generate and store complex passwords, reducing the risk of password reuse and making it easier to manage multiple accounts securely.